Will you young ladies kindly step in the back room, please? We got a little men talk. been going on around here in the past few days. You all know that the authorities have done nothing about the situation. You all know that we have not been treated like human beings. And what does it mean to be treated like a human being? It means being treated with some respect. But how do you get it? You command it. And you can't command anything unless you got what it takes to make it stick. False. That sound reasonable, Joe? It sounds reasonable, Farley. Ever try to figure out what force was? Or where you got it from? <laughs> of course not. If you had, you would have thought of it long before I did. And man, it's so simple. Just like ordering from Sears catalog. I got a hold of me of one of those New York newspapers. And I found out who handled the stuff. And I ordered me some. And here he is. Raymond Estes. of cowardly Uncle Tom's. You don't deserve to be saved. But I'm going to save you anyway. In 48 hours, I can have you all crawling off your knees with a snarl in your teeth that can be heard all the way to Washington, D.C. Look at you! If your proud ancestors could see you now, they'd spit in your cringing faces. Your forefathers were proud men, proud men. Follow me for 48 hours and you'll never have to follow anybody again. Don't misunderstand my purpose for being here. I am not a crusader. I create crusaders. I'm a professional. I work for two things, money and my self-respect. In that order. Do you think if I had been that much of a man, the KK would have killed my little brother? I'm not going to let this man get away until I learn something from him. I'm going to learn how to stand on my two hind legs and how, in fact, I'm kicking in my share of his expenses right now. Come on, Ellis. You one of the richest men in Shacktown. Help us put some teeth in this tiger. When you decide to bring in some brains for the tiger, Instead of false teeth, I'll kick in a little heavier. <laughs> <laughs> don't let this old maid scare y'all fellas. He don't want no change around here. All he wants to do is sit on his fat rear and get rich off your money. Now you watch your lip, Farley. Now if you had as much nerve as your little brother had, you could walk into that city cafe and find out that they sell the same brand of beer as you get here. Except you pay just exactly twice the price. Now, you're a local boy, and I appreciate your business, but you get them Harlem gangsters out of here and don't never bring them back. 
Now they can stay in my motel, cause there ain't no place else in town for them to go. But there won't be no more rebel rouse on my premises. You hear me? Yeah. The only way you can die quicker than hanging out with them is to move one more inch in my direction. Now get them out of here! I wasn't brought here to kill my own people. And no matter how stupid they might be, 